In this video, we examine the Heathkit IG1271 function generator. A function generator is a type of electronic test equipment used to generate different types of electrical waveforms over a range of frequencies. The types of waveforms commonly produced by function generators include sine, square, and triangle waves. The IG1271 was sold by Heathkit from 1974 to 1987. It was offered as a kit of all parts that the user would assemble by following a detailed construction manual. It sold in the U.S. for about $115. A factory assembled and calibrated version of the instrument, the SG1271, was also offered at a cost of about $50 more than the kit. Also offered by Heathkit around the same time period was the IG1275 Lin Log Swept Function Generator at about twice the cost and the IG1273 function generator, similar to the IG1275 but without the sweep function. Another function generator type instrument offered from 1984 to 1985 was the IG1277 pulse generator. After the IG1271 was discontinued, Heathkit offered the SG1274, or just 1274, function generator, which was not a kit and was manufactured by a third party for Heathkit. The unit generates sine, square, and triangle waveforms from 0.1 Hz to 1 MHz in six ranges. It features a 50 ohm output impedance, and the output is variable up to 10 volts peak to peak into a 50 ohm load or greater. A calibrated attenuator switch goes from 0 to 50 dB in 10 dB steps, as well as a variable attenuator control with a 20 dB range. It can be wired for 120 or 240 volts AC, 50 or 60 Hz and weighs about 4.2 pounds or 1.9 kilograms. The three position function switch selects the output waveform, square, sine, or triangle. The frequency multiplier control selects one of six ranges in decade steps from one to 100,000. The output frequency is determined by the frequency control, which goes from 0.1 to 10, multiplied by the frequency multiplier range. The lowest frequency is 0.1 hertz and the highest is one megahertz. The variable attenuator knob turns on the power and adjusts the output over a 20 dB or 10 to 1 range. The attenuator control selects one of five ranges in 10 dB steps from 0 to 50 dB of attenuation. Output is taken from a BNC connector and has a 50 ohm output impedance. The switch marked AC-DC is not standard and will be described later. The rear panel simply has the hardwired line cord and product label and the bottom has four rubber feet. This unit is missing the original handle, which could be rotated to tilt the instrument up. It's a solid state unit using three integrated circuits, 28 transistors, and 23 diodes. Notable components include the switches and controls, power transformer, and power supply filter capacitors. One transistor has a heat sink mounted. Several trim pots and caps are used for calibration, described later. Hooking the unit up to an oscilloscope, we can see the different output waveforms, square, sine, and triangle. Output frequency can be varied using the range and frequency controls. Similarly, the output level is adjusted using the attenuator switch and variable output control. The unit requires calibration in order to meet its published specifications. Two methods are described in the manual. The first requires an oscilloscope and a frequency counter, and the second uses an oscilloscope only. The basic calibration procedure adjusts the linearity of the triangle waveform using an oscilloscope such that the waveform is symmetrical. The output frequency is also adjusted as well as the DC offset. A distortion adjustment is made using a notch filter circuit that was provided with the unit and adjusting for minimum output from the filter around 1 kHz. My unit no longer had the notch filter since it was not part of the instrument and easily lost or discarded. Rather than duplicate the circuit, I used my Heathkit HD1 distortion meter to adjust the output for minimum sine wave output distortion. 
I acquired this unit at a local estate auction in April of 2022. It was in generally good condition with some scratches on the case and the front panel has a little yellowing. It included the original test leads. It was working when received. It didn't come with a manual, but I found partial copies of the manual on the internet. As mentioned, it was missing the original handle. This is very common. I have several Heath kits of similar case type and all of them are missing their handles. If desired, it could be reproduced from a piece of metal or even 3D printed. The AC-DC switch is not original and was added by someone as a modification. It switches in a 0.05 microfarad capacitor into the output line when in the AC position. The purpose was likely to protect the instrument from DC voltages and or to remove any DC offset in the output. The downside is that when the capacitor is switched in, it will cause distortion of a square or triangle wave at low frequencies, particularly when connected to a low impedance load. I would have removed it, but it would leave a hole in the panel, and the person who made the modification did a reasonably good job of making a small label to indicate the function. While performing the calibration, I observed that this unit doesn't have any trim pot for adjusting DC offset. The design must have changed from what was documented in the version of the manual I have. There was one other mod or repair made. A resistor has been paralleled with another. R42, an 18K resistor, has had a 56K resistor connected in parallel to it. While the electrolytic and tantalum capacitors and equipment of this vintage can fail, I tested them for value and ESR and they were good, so I didn't replace them. Heathkit only made a few function generators and this is the only model that I own. It's a small, compact instrument that I expect to use from time to time for audio or digital logic circuit work.